And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a rotated Rubik's Cube. Someone in the comment section asked me how to do that. You cannot directly create a 3D object and then rotate it in Inkscape. In Illustrator it's possible but as far as I know there is no extension or effect inbuilt in Inkscape to do that. But we can simulate that. All we need is the basic side so let us create a rectangle i hold control and i drag it let me switch the stroke style right here a width of 10 millimeters should be fine for this i press ctrl d to create a copy and i hold ctrl when i drag that to the right it snaps i repeat the process now i select all three once again ctrl d drag it downwards now select it all path and combine then path and path effect click on the plus sign and we need the corners Make sure this box down here is checked. So change only selected nodes. Use the nodes tool, select it all. Drag this circle downwards to create rounded corners. Let us give it a fill color. I'll use the default red here. It's selected, Control D. I'll drag it to the right side. I'll make that green. Once again, Control D and I'll make it blue. So this is, let's say, the basic elements that we need. Now go to Extensions, Render, 3D, Polyhedron. The style is unimportant. Just go to the model file and use Cube. So that's the most important here. And under View, you can rotate it in the X, Y, and Z axis. So pick the first three parameters here to adjust the angle that you want. When you've got the live pivot checked, you can see that in real time. When you've got the angle that you like, click on apply, close your menu, size it a little bit up, hold control and shift when you do, put it to the background. So it's behind the three basic elements. And now you can select these elements, go to path, path effects again, once more plus sign. And we need this one. So the perspective envelope, use your notes tool, the snapping is enabled and that helps me in positioning these nodes. And that's the way you can do that with all the basic elements and all the angles that you've rendered previously. Just repeat the process with the other two basic elements. Once you've done that, zoom in, then select the background cube that we've rendered and press delete. And now we create a black fill for that. A simple way is to use the Bezier tool, turn off the snapping and go over it like this. Make sure to close the path, get rid of the stroke and give it a black fill and then put it to the bottom. You can press Ctrl G to group it and then export it like a regular element. And this is how you can create these ruby cubes in different angles in Inkscape. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.